Hi, my name is Emily. I'm a faithful follower of Christ, and there's something I've been meaning to tell you that was so neat and I would call absolutely divine timing. Every day I get an email from WayFM. If you want to get the same email, just go to wayfm.com and sign up for their email. It is one scripture that comes to my inbox every morning around 6 a.m. and there's always a graphic with it and I am highly visual so a lot of the scripture that I have memorized is because I've looked at these graphics and um, it helps me immensely to remember them. So recently I did the April printable video and if you watch that video then you know that the theme for April with the April printable is April. April. That God is real and not only is God real, the enemy is real and spiritual warfare is real. So on that poster I drew out, um, and I did all this uh, a couple days, somewhere around March 29th, somewhere in there, um, a couple days before April, before April 1st. And I drew out each of the six uh, pieces of the armor of God. And one of the verses for the month to look up is um, Ephesians 6 verses, I think it's 10 through 20. April 1st, I got the email from WayFM and I was pleasantly surprised and amazed that the verse for the day out of 66 books of the Bible and Old Testament, New Testament, the Bible covers it all, was Ephesians 6, 11. Put on the full armor of God. Put on all of the full, put on all of the armor of God to protect you against all of the devil's strategies. I'm not getting that right. Let me show you right here. So that was what came to my inbox April 1st, the armor of God. I am going to spend the month of April meditating on that, on those verses. And like I said, I'm very visual. So I went on Amazon looking for a poster and it's fine with me if it's a kid's poster because I, I have five kids, but a poster just to put up in the kitchen somewhere for the month of April for us all to kind of be reading it and studying it and and I'm practicing it sometimes I and I might do this I write I might write it down on a note card keep it in my back pocket pull it out throughout the day and and um, I want the scripture memorized I want to know the word and the word is Jesus but I want to know scripture um, I will probably I have one kid that's very very highly um, money motivated. I will probably tell him if at the end of the month he can tell me this scripture or all six pieces of the armor of God, there might be some money involved um, as an incentive. Either way, I went on Amazon looking for a poster. Um, some of them were too big, too small. Makes me think of a Dr. Seuss book, but I found this one. So that will definitely work. And um, I also found little coins that are in the shape of armor. And on the front, it says the armor of God. And on the, I believe it says the Bible verse. And then on the back, it lists all six. Just little, probably about the size of a half dollar. So I'm ordering one of those. I ordered one of those for each of my um, family members. My husband, myself, and our five kids. I'll show you those here. So that's it. I just wanted to share. If you've seen that video, great. If you haven't, I understand it's an hour long. Um, but please know that I say all the time, if you want to join us for the month of April, March, March, April, May, whatever month you want to join us on, we um, have Bible verses that we're reading throughout the month. It's really not a huge commitment. But then the printable is a little checklist. And like I said, this month I'm going to focus on um, putting on pajamas and brushing my teeth every night. 
hopefully help me get a better night's sleep than just falling over in my clothes, in my jeans, and waking up and doing it all over again. Um, it's really been helping, and I have, I've, so far, so good. I am also um, aiming to start the day thanking God for answered prayers because I often ask him for things he gives them to me and I sort of take that for granted I'm like can I have this here it is okay Ooh, great and I take off running I want to thank him I want to zoom out sometime and look at my life and look at the lives of others that I pray for daily there's a lot of people that my husband and I pray for every morning by name and the good things that are happening in their lives I want to stop and be aware how can we be grateful for something if we're not aware of it so I want to start the day saying thank you. If you want to join us, don't feel like it's too late. You could join us for the last five day of, uh, days of April. You could join us for the last 20 days of April. You could start today from, from today on and just say, you know, for the next 22 days or 27 days, I, I commit to making this one small change because um, I am, if y'all know me, y'all know me, some of y'all know me, I'm all about... Um, heading in the right direction. I love the quote. You can probably quote it with me at this point. God does not expect perfection, but he does expect direction. So let's head in the right direction towards him together. That's it. I wanted you all to know that on April 1st, the Way FM way word on the way was Ephesians chapter 6 verse 11. Let's put on the armor of God. That's it. I'm so glad to share with you this thing I've been meaning to share. Now, I've got to call around and find out who's open on a Sunday night, some kind of urgent care clinic to get Charlie in. He's on his way home now. We let him go fishing with four friends, and he currently has a treble hook stuck in his back. So, I'm going to help Charlie get that fishing hook out of his back. You all have a great night. I love you dearly. We'll talk again soon. Bye.